My name is Angela Ho. I go to USC, and uh, I'm a third year doing fine arts. Uh, my grandpa was actually a soldier in the war. He um, he kind of played every role. I think during war, that's just kind of what happens, you know. Um, and yeah, so he was a cook. He did medical. He fought. Um, and my mom, she was a little younger than my dad. She wanted to have a college education. It didn't happen because she wasn't communist. And eventually um, her whole family was able to immigrate to America because um, one of her brothers was actually half American. So that was kind of their way out. My grandpa, he, he was involved in the war the whole, the whole time. That's truly a miracle, you know? Like I look at him and I was just like, I don't even believe you're a person, you know? He has all these scars from the war and I am just amazed how he's still alive and like how he managed to do all those things and he's such a skilled, smart man, <laughs> you know? But he definitely still remembers everything very clearly and he talks about it all the time, you know, uh, and how much, how bitter he is about Vietnam and how he never wants to go back, which is still crazy to me that's where he grew up. My sister still remembers those uh, flashbacks he had. He would kind of freak out on occasion um, for no reason at the time. Like, And sometimes he'd wake up in the middle of the night just screaming, thinking that there was like a grenade uh, somewhere in the house. And he had to go through a lot of therapy to get out of the PTSD that was happening. And yeah, and my dad is just the most positive human being ever and he's always grateful even when things go wrong you know he had the toughest life i've ever heard of you know his dad was communist and he left he left his family while well, like they weren't you know and his mom passed away when he was 18. he like grew up very fast and i think he was he is too is a miracle my mom's a miracle you know and so whatever they did i think they did it perfectly my dad he got on a fisherman's boat it's really crazy. All of his uh, siblings were in prison for five years and yeah, it's really heavy and he he went on a boat not knowing if he could survive. There were like pirate invasions and all these crazy things and he survived them and his, his stepsister attempted and she actually committed suicide on the journey because pirates raided her boat and she just didn't want to, she just gave up on it, you know. And, my dad was able to travel uh, and get to America.